Yes, yes. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, kindly consider subscribing. Leo tuko na mrembo. Leo mrembo ako maju. Na mrembo mwenye anajilikana kama The Ivano TV. Karibu sana Ivano TV. Asante sana um Mr. Mbiu. Yes, yes, yes. How are you? Unaendeleaje huko? Ah, mimi ni The Ivano TV. Na yes. we are live I'm live from Saudi Arabia. Wow, fantastic. I'm happy to see you. <coughs> My pleasure. Yes, so uh, ngeta kujua maybe hapo Saudi Arabia ulienda ulienda mwaka gani? Okay, nilikujanga hapa 2019. Nikamaliza yes. 2020. 2021 nikaenda home. Mm -hmm. Mwezi wa 8. Na una, unapotea kidogo ni kama network yako ina ina inatupoteza. Unanisikia saa hii? Eh sana kusikia. Nasema nilikuja 2019 nikamaliza yeah. miaka mbili, nikaenda Kenya nikarudi tena hapa Saudi. Eh. So kumaanisha wewe kwako Saudi Arabia inakupeleka vizuri sana. Eh, unlike most of the ladies wenye tumeona wakikuwa wana complain sana kuhusu mashida zenye wanapitia pande hiyo. You know for me I can't complain. Eh. Sasa unajua kwanza kuna swali moja muhimu sana ningetaka kukuuliza. Aha. Wewe sababu ni wewe ni YouTuber eh, most of the times unapata in, each and every day una, uko na videos kama tatu unapatanga time ya kufanya videos saa ngapi na bado uko na job ya mwarabu Unajua huko mtu akishajipanga ni hivyo like most of the time mimi huwa naweka video zangu usiku wakati ambao naenda kulala uh, naingia natafuta content alafu naziweka kwa YouTube alafu nazifanya zinakuwa premier yani nitazipost hiyo the following day Mhm mm yeah. So kumaanisha kumaanisha usiku unalalanga very una, unalalanga very late Okay, huku tu maybe nikimaliza tuseme mimi namkanga saa saba, nikiamka saa saba, na maliza kazi mm -hmm. na maliza kuosha huku saa nane. So yes. nikimaliza saa nane, uh, mm -hmm. na natuta content alafu nikipata mm -hmm. naziaka tu kwa simu. Waiguru wangu anamkanga saa tisa. Akiamka yes. saa tisa, naenda nasafisha huko kwake alafu sasa na, na relax tena. I, ya tunakaka mm -hmm. tunaanza kupika mm -hmm. saa moja. So saa moja tukimaliza kupika tunamaliza kabisa kukula saa tatu. So mi namalizanga kazi saa tatu, alafu nakuja hapa kwa room yangu. Ah so unakuja ah. kutengeneza ile content ulitafuta mchana. Eh Ah alright sasa eh ni, ni, nimekuwa nikisikia mambo ya keboy keboy keboy. Wewe we kwanza umekuwa ukifanya video mingi sana za keboy. Wewe ushaiku keboy kweli? Hiyo miaka kadhaa umekaa hapo. Hapana mimi sijai keboy. Eh, shida inakuanga ni gani ukisikia mtu amekeboy? Ah, uh, shida ya kukemboi inasababishongwa na maybe kama mkenya amefika kwa nyumba ya Mwarabu, maybe wameanza ku kumrep wameanza kumtesa hawampei mm -hmm. chakula wanamtapa so unapata huyo mtu akipigia ofisi ofisi haimshughuliki so the better option ina kuanga maybe ukemboi ama ukimbililia mm -hmm. kwa to the nearest mosque ama uende police station yeah ah okay sasa nikuulize shida kama hizo zina zina zinasababishwa na nini haswa kwa sababu Unapata eh, au watu au watu kemboi ni vile wanakuanga hawasikizani na wa, na wa, wadosi wao ama ni wadosi tu wanakuanga na kisirani Ni wadosi wa Ni wadosi wanakuanga na kisirani Mhm mm eh. kuna, kuna mtu aliniambia ati wakati una unapewa kazi ya kupanguza ana eh, unapatanga mnawaita eh 
wanaita hao boss wenu mnawaitanga nini watu wanakuja wanaangalia tu kwa kidole hivi waangalia kaka kuna uchafu akiguza tu hivi we, una, we ukiguza unaona ni kusafi lakini yeye akiguza lazima aanze makelele Okay ya yeah, kuna boss wengine ni wako hivyo actually unapata umeosha mahali lakini watakuja waangalie hivi na kidole wakwambie bado ni kuchafu yani wale tu wakiisirani sasa mtu kama huyo utaezakaa na yeye kweli Eh uh-huh. So una baki hauna option ni, ku, ni kutoroka tu. Uh, kuna zile minor, kuna zile minor zenye yani scandals zenye ni minor zitakufanya utoroke ukemboi. Okay. Sasa eh, nimeona pia ukiangazia, nimeona ukiangazia story mingi mingi kwa YouTube channel yako kuhusu mateso zenye watu wanapitia hapo Saudi Arabia na maybe moja wapo ni yenye umeweza kusema maybe bosses wanakuwa na kisirani kumekuwa na maybe cases where by eh uh, uh, wasichana wenye wamekuja huko na wanapata mashida pia wao wako na shida fulani maybe uh, uh, ikuwe bosses ni wazuri lakini wawataki wa, wa kufanya kazi Uh, actually actually I disagree with you hapo. Eh. Yeah. Kwa sababu hakuna mkenya atatoka Kenya uh, all, all the way from Kenya kuja Saudi Arabia akisema ati akiwa na ile roho ya ati yeye hataki kazi. Tunaguanga tumejitolea. Yaani sisi ni team strong. Nyinyi ni team strong kabisa. <laughs> so mnasema ni team strong sababu unachapa kazi. Eh. Yeah. Haya, kuna kitu kingine. Kuna watu wamekuwa wakemplain, wakicomplain, wanaosha nyoka. Sijui wanalisha eh, wanakamua mbuzi, wanapoa kazi za kukamua mbuzi. Eh, wengine sijui ku, kulisha ngamia. Hizo story ni za ukweli ama ni ile tu watu wanajaribu kutafutilia story za kuwekelea mabosses ma wao. Actually hizo ni story za ukweli lakini za manyoka hakuna lakini za mbuzi kukamua mbuzi maybe kulisha mbuzi kuchunga mbuzi ziko lakini si ile ya kuchunga unaletewa tu uh-huh. chakula ya mbuzi unapea hizo mbuzi lakini hiyo ya ku, ya kunini ya manyoka i have no hmm. idea uh, oh, so hiyo hauna idea, idea kabisa kama ni ukweli watu wali, wanasemanga wanaosha nyoka ama ni ile tu story ya kuji ya kujitengenezea ndio mtu asikike alikuwa uh, Saudi Arabia na alipata mambo magumu huko. Uh, unajua kuna watu wengine wanafika huku wanashindwa na kazi, alafu mtu yeah. akikuwa reported ana, akifika Kenya aone tu TV yeyote, anaingia kwa hiyo mm. TV, ndiposa aharibie wenye wako hapa Gulf sana sana hapa Saudi Arabia. Utapata mtu anasema alikuwa ana, ananyonyesha dogi, anaosha nyoka, mm. analala na umbwa na ni vitu za uongo. Ah, okay, okay. So tusi hatufai kuamini kabisa ama unasemaji e, sio watu wote wenye unafaa usikie story yao wengine wako hapo <laughs> tu haribia wengine e, mm. um, e, kulingana na wewe wakati ulienda pale Saudi Arabia e, uli, kwa, nini wakati ulikuwa unatoka hapa Kenya ulifanywa training yoyote ya kazi yenye unaenda kufanya pande ile Uh, actually Actually kama ni Saudi Arabia mkenya yeyote akikuja Saudi Arabia lazima aende classes na training inakuanga ya three weeks. Unaenda unafunzwa mm. Kiarabu, unafunzwa kutumia machine juu huku tunatumia machines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hakuna hakuna eh, scenario yeyote yenye maybe mtu amefanywa training hapa lakini akikuja huko anapata training yenye amepewa hapa ni tofauti sana na ile kazi anakuja kufanya huko 
actually that is what has been happening unapata mtu ameenda kufundishwa ku, kupika huko Kenya anafundishwa kutandika kitanda anafundishwa kutumia machine akifika huku anapata uh, vitu mm-hmm. kwa ground ni tofauti unapata mwarabu anakufunza vile au kufunzwa huko kama ni machine okay. zenye ulikuwa unatumia huko sio zenye utakuja kupata hapa so we uh-huh. have having uh, that challenge lakini mwarabu atakufunza ukifika huko akute akute apate haujui atakufunza ama hapo ndio shida zinaanzanga uh, actually mwarabu mwarabu mm. ajui tunafunzwa kitu so tukifika yeah. huko pia tu, huwa tunajifanya hatujui kitu so tunaanza tena kufunzwa from zero na mwarabu yani pole pole tu oh, okay 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 haya kuna swali lingine kuhusu passport na travel documents Unanipata vizuri? Eh nakusikia. Yes, kuna wanadada wengi sana wamekuwa wakiniambia wanafika the moment umefika airport kutoka hapa Kenya, dokumenti zako zote zinachukuliwa. Hiyo ni mambo ya ukweli. Sio wote juu yangu si ni yangu nakaanga nayo. Ehe. Ya, yeah, yangu wale nakaanga nayo. Wanachu, wale, wale wanachukuli wangu ni shida inakuanga nini sababu kuna kuna wanadada kadhaa nimeongea nao na wananiambia wanafika airport document kwanza inachukuliwa alafu sijui inaenda inakaa na mfany, na, 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 na mwarabu. Um, hmm. Actually hiyo ya kuchukuliwa passport ndio wengi wamechukuliwa passport lakini sijaijua kwa nini lakini to yeah. according to my own understanding nafikiri maybe kama hiyo nyumba yenye ulikuwa unaenda maybe kulikuanga na mfanyikazi alafu akakemboi maybe ndio maana yeah. wanachukuanga passport yako wakifikiria auta kemboi hawajui kama mkenya anaweza kemboi hata kama ana passport sijui ni ujinga tu yani sijui mbona wanachukua na hii unajua hii ni Kenyan government hizi ya ya, ya ya nini ya Saudi eh uh-huh. yeah so tuseme kama wewe sasa ukataka ku travel uh, kama hii wiki wewe hauna wasiwasi ni kulipa tu ndege na kuwe, na kutoka juni kona passport yeah Passport hata hata kama una passport unaenda nyumbani sio lazima passport Nimeuliza hivyo kwa sababu wanadada fulani nimeongea na wao wamekuwa wame kiniambia ile kitu ilikuwa inawazuia kurudi Kenya ni passport Uwezi pewa exit bila hiyo Hapana hii unaweza kwa immigration center Juu makemboi mm. makemboi wengi by the way hawana passport na wakitaka kwenda nyumbani wanaendanga haraka sana. Okay. Mm. Ah that's fine that's fine. So Ivano TV ungeambia aje maybe eh, mwanadada mwenye anaweza taka kukuja kufanya kazi huko. Akuje ama asikuje. Okay, mimi ningeambia mtu yeyote mwenye angetaka kukuja hapa Saudi, uh, akuje mm-hmm. tu asisikize hizi stories za huku social media na ningewaambia yeah. tu Mungu ni yeye huwa na direct watu. Hata ukiamka ni Mungu huwa na ku direct first step. Ni Mungu, mm-hmm. kwa hivyo tukianza kusema ati yo oh, utaenda kuteswa sijui nini and remember you are mandula obligata it's like a magnet whatever you think it it will exactly come so usifikirie vitu mbaya mbaya huku tu yeah. huku by the way wa Kenya tuko hapa wengi sana Saudi tuko wengi yeah. na majority ni wenye walikuwa bosses wazuri kwa hivyo wakuje tu okay ah uh, swali ya mwisho kabisa before tumaliza hii video Mwanipata ni Nakusikia. kuhusu kuna watu nasikia siji wanafanya kazi closely na embassy ama wanaitwa wale was, wale watu wenye tunasikianga atukikuwa na shida wanakusaidia pande hiyo ya Saudi Arabia. Hao watu ni ukweli wanasaidianga hapa ama tu ni ile tu wakikuja kwa social media wanaonekana wanaongea na na power wakisema vile wanasaidia watu lakini maybe kwa ground inakuwa tofauti. 
Okay, ya watu wanait wako pale kwa Kenyan Embassy in Saudi Arabia uh, lakini awasaidi kabisa kabisa. Wa Kenya wanateseka hapa. Mm -hmm. Awasaidi yeah. kabisa. Siwezi yeah. watetea hao watu wa Kenyan Embassy. Sasa eh, sasa umeongea mambo ya kuteseka. Ningetaka kusema umebi utuambia wanateseka kivipi. Sababu umeniambia wa Waarabu eh, wa, wa hawawapigi hawa maybe Eh, wengine wakipata kukeboi wana keboi na wakitaka kurudi Kenya wanarudi kwa, kwa, kwa nini eh, haraka sana lakini sasa tena tuseme kuna wengi sana tumeona huko wanateseka wamekwama huko sijui wengine wako wako jela sasa hawa Kenya unasema wanateseka ni, ni, ni kama wagani wagani wenye wamekeboi wame ama wenye wako kwa employer Ah uh, wote wote wanateseka. Mhm. Mm uh, kwa sababu unapata sijui kama ulijua kama deportation center ya Sakani ilichomwa. Eh yeah, nilisikia. So unapata mtu ameenda deportation center amekaa mm -hmm. huko over one Huyo mtu utamfanyia nini na hapa Saudi Arabia kuna Kenyan Embassy Aya, Utapata maybe mtu amegonjekea kwa boss Amerudishwa kwa ofisi Ofisi mshuguliki Mtu karibu akufia kwa ofisi Wakiona anakufa wanampeleka deportation center Mbona wapeleke mtu deportation center akiwa mgonjwa Juwa naogopa yeah. kunini Kuketa for the bill hospital Yeah Yani a lot of a lot of sheets are happening here. Wa Kenya wetu wanateseka sana in the name of uh our when you unasema at Kenya embassy in Saudi Arabia. One wamelala tu hakuna kazi wanafanya. Ah, okay. Alafu pia shughuli za hospitali inakuwa ngumu sana kutibiwa kwani kuna kuanga kunaendeleaje hapo. Mtu akigonjeka wanapata ni ngumu sana kutibiwa kwa hospitali hapo. Eh, kuna boss wengine huwa wanaepa hizo bills so wanaambia uh, atim Kenya we chukua tutakupeleka tuta hospitali na tutakukata tuta salari yako sasa imagine umeenda hospitali umeambiwa bill yako ni maybe 1000 pesa yako yote mm. yenye umefanyia ni 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 ya nini ni, ni ya kukupeleka hospitali na contract yenye uli sign inasema inaongelelea about medical Lazima boss wako kama wewe ni mgonjwa akupeleke hospitali. Lazima ukifika Saudi Arabia boss wako akuchukulie kitu inaitwa igama kama umemaliza three months kwa nyumba yake. Hiyo igama ndio itakuja ita na hiyo hiyo hospital hospital whatever. Ndio sasa uko unapelekwa hospitali free kama wewe ni mgonjwa. Lakini wengi ni wajanja sana. Ah, okay. So hiyo ndio sababu haswa yenye inafanyanga wa Kenya wakigonjeka hawa, hawa tibiwi. Unapata mtu wamegonjekea huko mpaka arudi Kenya ndio heze kutibiwa. Ni ukora yani. Eh. Alright. Eh, lakini siyo wote ya. Yeah. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Sawa sawa the Ivano TV kwa kukua na sisi kwa hii video. Tumeshukuru sana tumepata kujua mengi tumejifunza mengi yani mtu mwenye ataona hii video atakuwa amejifunza mengi kuhusu Saudi Arabia na mi pia ningesema kama mtu ana trust eh, instinct zake na ana feel like maybe naweza taka kwenda kufanya kazi asi hesitate aende Juma bosses hawafuanani ama vipi si ndivyo Menisikia? Eh nivo, uh, na kusikia Mr. Mbiyu na nimeshukuru sana kwa kuni-invite. Ku, yes. So, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, ambia watu wa subscribe. Wazidi kusubscribe kwa, kwa this my YouTube channel. Guys, subscribe. Yes. Subscribe kwa... ZD ZD Music TV and wow, wow. thank you so much for your time. thank you so much for watching up to this far bye
Okay, bye bye. So guys, thank you so much. Tumekuwa tukichapa story na the Ivano TV. And in case you are new here and it's your first time una, una watch my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Wake up the notification bell on. Na tutazidi kuchapa more stories kwa hii YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you.